This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, so we got a new amp in Helix 3.5, the Sun Model T. Now this is an amp used by the band Sun, and that's probably what it's best known as. However, it is an amp from the 70s, I think it's been reissued, but essentially it's based on, I think, a Marshall Super Bass, something like that, or so instead of the lead, the sort of amps they were making at the time, they also made the bass, and it's a slightly different circuit, but, um, still a Marshall. So let's start with the normal channel and see what we can do with it. So the cab that comes with it, 75 and stock settings, as you can see, we've got a high cut on there and some stuff. So what you get is so that normal channel is quite kind of flubby, a bit more kind of classic. as you turn the gain up and the master up, I'm going to presume. So that's kind of got a, a bit more of a classic vibe to it. If we go to the bright channel, um, I think this one might be more in keeping with what you'd expect from a Marshall. So we've got more kind of Hendrixy tones. With the bright channel. Again, if you crank this master, you're going to get a lot more gain, given that it is. Back this off, you can get some clean tones. Which you could probably make a little bit brighter with the treble.
so what if we let's just jump this into snapshot mode and I'm going to create three snapshots here so we've got our clean which can if we want to dig in get a little bit get a bit on the dirty side now if we keep that there what happens if we crank the drive um, we're gonna go here for this so up around five let's hear what we get um, so quite a lot more gain than some of the more classic marshals in the helix <laughs> to if we take this bass down I guess Take the mids up, what happened? That midpoint does seem to be uh, 4.5 around there seems to work quite nicely um, now maybe let's just try and dial in something like a lead tone if we boost the mids for this this will be what you heard me playing in the intro probably we'll chuck in front I think something like a Timmy maybe Something without too much of a mid -put. That's pretty nice. Right, okay, so then we'll just bypass that for most. And have it coming on for the lead. So that kind of works. Um, so a, a really versatile little thing. If you get into the, um, there's also the jump models, isn't there? Uh, I don't know. Let's just bypass that a second. The jump models.
plenty of gain. Kind of a bit of a fuzzy quality to that. Um, but yeah, that's kind of... Another option that you could have those two jump together, but I don't necessarily think that offers you a whole lot better tones than this one. Okay, let's just add in uh, a little sprinkle of stuff. So we have a stereo dynamic plate at the end here, a bit of a longer thing open up the damping, bring the mix nice and low Very cool. Uh, then our rhythm, we'll bypass that. Let's keep the trails on though. And then the lead. And maybe we'll even bring in a bit of stereo delay for the lead because why not? Um, my default settings are a bit different to what yours will be when you bring those up. Um... I'll take the decay down for the lead tone. And if you want to darken that tone down a little bit, I guess you could just jump into here and move away from the cap edge. Um, different microphones as well something like the 67 ribbon might be a nice one 67 condenser sorry <laughs> um, that 414 what was it default the 906 a bit more aggressive <laughs> So that's the Sun Model T amplifier in the Helix. I think definitely uh, worth a look for some more kind of classic Marshall super bass type tones. Um, and of course, if you're a fan of the band Sun, this would be a no brainer. If you're into that doom kind of metal sort of droning thing, then this is also where you'd be looking for that. But it's more than just an amp that you can do that with. Um, I'll put a link in the description. I think I'm going to do this one in a slightly different way. I think I'll make this one a Patreon exclusive. If if you're on my Patreon and you want me to drop this preset, then I'll, I'll put it up there. Uh, I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers for now.